Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the Makeup Revolution YouTube channel. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jack or Makeup by Jack here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And basically I am here today with you guys to talk about my brand new collaboration palette with Makeup Revolution. I have actually already filmed a YouTube video for my channel and talking about it still seems really surreal. So I'm going to jump straight into it. This right here is my palette in collaboration with Makeup Revolution. Like what the hell, my name is on it. So I am going to get into swatches and a tutorial and all of that good stuff. But first of all, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about my palette palette, why I made it, who it's for, and all of that stuff. So basically, if you don't really know anything about me, I am a very simplistic person. When it comes to packaging, I love really simple, clean packaging. So for the outside carton of my packaging, I went with this grey on matte black kind of finish. And then right here, we have like a tear away. So this is almost like a torn card or torn paper kind of effect to reveal some of the shades inside. And so basically, this idea is very representative of me. I might come across kind of like simplistic and minimal on the outside, but then all of my good, fun, creative, colourful stuff is on the inside. Side, like all of my like creativity and stuff like that. So if we slide this outer carton out, this right here is the actual inside of the palette. Again, very simple, very minimal, exactly what I wanted when I was creating this. This was like my original idea to do this like black on black, very just like minimal, sleek, cool kind of finish. Again, I'm not really a huge person on like really busy over the top packaging. So this is just like so beautiful and so perfect to me. And then if I pop it open, this is what the inside looks like. It's so crazy, like finally showing it on camera because this has been a year in the making. This has been a year long secret. So it's like really, really surreal just to kind of like talk about it openly. So yeah, this is the inside of my palette. And basically what I've done is create kind of like four different color stories. So I wanted this palette to be for everyone, like the professional people who really know what they're doing, who aren't scared to like jump in, but then also for people who are beginners who might not necessarily know what to do. So I went with the four different color stories just because they're very like complementary colors to each other. So if you do need a hand with like what goes with what, you kind of like have it all laid out for you. This to me is my absolute perfect palette. It contains every single shade I need, every single shade I use. All of my looks all over Instagram I have been creating with this for months and months. There's nothing in here I don't use and there's nothing else I would want to be in here. Like this is it for me. This is just like absolute perfection. This contains seven like shimmer foil shades, which you'll see in a minute when I do swatches. And then there's 13 matte shades that makes 20 altogether. It retails for £10, which I think is such an incredible price for what I think is a pretty amazing product. I I've tried my best to include like a mixture of cool and warm shades or like the type of shades that I would use because ultimately this is like my idea of what my perfect eyeshadow palette is. I'm going to show you guys a few swatches and go through the names with you. If you want a little bit more like detail as to why I've necessarily called something a certain name, you can go check out the video over on my channel just like go a little more in depth. But right now I'm just going to show you swatches, tell you the finish, just so you can see how everything looks. So yeah, back to the whole like four different color stories type of thing. So right in the corner here we have like this beautiful orange with the dark brown and like a pink shade. This combo of the pink and the orange together is like beautiful for summer. And then we've got more like neutral shades up here, kind of like everyday, I guess, kind of shades. Some pops of color down here with the blue and the yellow. These two shades in particular are two of my absolute favorites in the entire palette. Like I really shouldn't have favorites, but I really do. And then up here we have this beautiful peach with a silver and some purple shades. So everything is kind of laid out exactly how you would use it or you can literally just jump into it and do whatever the hell you want. I really, really wanted to create something with different options and I feel like I pretty much covered like every basis. So for example, there's no green in the palette because I personally love making green eyeshadow out of blue and yellow. So every time I do a green look, it's always with these two mixed together and I think it comes out beautifully. You will notice that four of the shades are a little bit bigger. After I kind of like finished the whole palette, like every color was done, I looked at it and spoke to a few of my friends and kind of determined that the average colors that would be used the most from speaking to them would be those four shades. So we made them a little bit bigger just so they would essentially last a little bit longer. Like on my way, for example, which is this beautiful gold shade right here, I have used so much of this. So that is why those four pans are a little bit bigger. Also, I guess with these shimmer shades, you can also use them as highlights. So this top corner one is a nice kind of like icy blue white shimmer shade. I have been using this one as eyeshadow and highlight. So for me, this is the perfect shade to be a little bit bigger just because I do use it for my face as well. But yeah, overall, I am so unbelievably proud of this. This is so perfect to me and I really hope you guys like it. Like I said, this has been a year in the making. It's been a very emotional year. Excitement mixed with like absolute nervousness. Um, and I just want to say a massive thank you to Adam and the whole Revolution team for giving me this opportunity and believing in me and my work. It really does mean everything and I'm so beyond grateful. And also thank you to the people who follow me and support me and like my work and like me. None of this would be possible without any of you guys. So also to you, thank you so, so much. So right now I'm going to jump into swatches 
pieces and show you guys each color and tell you the name like I said and then I will jump into a tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing is using the top two color stories so a little bit of a neutral and then the purples. If you head over to my channel and watch my video I did the bottom two color stories so if you want to see how any of these shades work just hop on over there. Okay then so jumping straight into it with the first shade this is called Silly and this is a really beautiful like I said like an icy shimmer shade with like a really slight blue shift. Perfect for the inner corner or the lid or like I said I have been using this for highlight. The next shade right here is called Boo and this is a beautiful like matte vanilla shade. So when I first approved this shadow I was actually setting my eye base. I don't actually do that anymore so the initial intention was for this to be used as like a shadow to set your base but I've been using it as a matte lid shade or a matte brow bone shade or even like an inner corner shade because not everyone loves a shimmery eye. Some people are like strictly matte so the shade is perfect for that. Next shade over here is Kappa and obviously my fellow Brits will know this is just a cup of tea. This is a gorgeous warm matte almost like transition color which again is why this one is a little bit bigger because I feel like people would use it a lot more than some of the other shades. This next shade is a matte peach and this is called Woolly Plum. This is a really beautiful transition color for the purple shades in the palette. This beautiful matte burnt orange shade is called Over It. This is one of my favorite shades. If you do follow me and you follow my work you know I'm a huge huge fan of warm tone burnt orange eye looks. So yeah this is definitely one of my favorite shades. Next to it we have Tum and this is a matte kind of like chocolatey brown. Again a really beautiful shade absolutely one of my favorites. Next we have Bougie and this is a beautiful like bronzy gold shimmer. I say shimmer it's like a foil. This has such a beautiful foil finish it is so creamy and pigmented and I just love it. So this next shade is a really beautiful soft purple it is a matte and it is called Fiona. Again if you want to know more in depth like why I called everything what I did then head on over to my channel because I do give you a little bit more explanation. This next shade is also one of my absolute favorites it's a beautiful like cranberry eggplant kind of color and this is called introvert. Okay so this one this is a foil silver and this is probably my favorite shade in the palette and this one is called chill out. This is definitely the one that I have used the absolute most of as well as on my way which is the gold shade. I just think it's so beautiful and again so pigmented and creamy and Oh, I just love it. Next, we have a matte kind of like rose type of color. It's essentially like a deeper pink with like a little bit of red in it. And this one is called Cariad, which is Welsh for love. I just thought I'd quickly explain that I am Welsh. Don't know if anyone knows that. But yeah, I thought I'd throw a little bit of my Welshness into this. Next to it, we have Hun. And this is a gorgeous shimmer champagne color. But it's almost got like a hint of rose pink to it. But like the base of it is champagne. And then this, of course, is On My Way. This is a beautiful true gold. It almost has like tiny little flecks of glitter in it. Like, I mean, it's not glitter, but it almost kind of like acts like that. It's the only shadow in the palette that has this type of finish. And again, one of my favorites, I've used this so much. So right here we have the shade Thunder, and this is a blue-green shimmer with like a really light yellow gold shift. The shade is so interesting to me, and it's beautiful paired with the blues. This is another foil shade, and this is called Afters. It's a really gorgeous like warm red cranberry kind of color, and again, this one is just, I mean, they're all beautiful. I don't know why I'm repeating myself so much, because they are all stunning. Right here we have a golden hour and this is a gorgeous bright orange. It's a little bit different to over it. Over it is more of like a subdued burnt kind of orange. Golden hour is a lot brighter. This next shade is drama. This is the darker shade in the palette. You guys will notice I don't have a black. That is because I don't really use black. I prefer like darker browns or darker purples if I want to make something like really deep and dramatic. So yeah, this is just a really nice dark neutral brown. This matte yellow is called queen. This again, like I said, I shouldn't have favorites, but this is one of my absolute favorites in the entire palette. Palette. I use this for everything. It's literally beautiful with any of them. And like I said, you can also pair this with the blues if you were looking to make like a green eyeshadow look. This light blue shade is called Tired AF, which is me all of the time. And that again is a matte. And then lastly, we have King, which is a beautiful dark blue matte. So one more thing I've actually tried to do with the palette as a whole is give everything a transition color without actually having like doubles of certain shades. So you notice that there's two blues just because blue is one of those awkward colors that you kind of need a color to help it blend. There's two purples with the peach. Like I've tried to give everything transitions just so it's a lot easier when it comes to blending. But also they are colors in their own right so you can use them like just on their own. And that is my palette. I really hope you guys like it. This is such a crazy surreal moment for me. And I can't actually believe that like my name's on something with a brand that I love as much as I love Revolution. And again, like, thank you to the whole team. You have been amazing throughout this entire process. And Adam, of course, for this opportunity and this experience to create something that I am just so in love with. Okay, before I get emotional, I'm going to jump into a tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to be using the top two color stories. So I'm going to have, like, different color eyes. But, um, yeah, just, just bear with me. 
Okay then, so I've gone ahead and primed my eye already. And I'm gonna be starting out jumping into the shade Introvert. And I'm just gonna be placing that straight on to my outer corner. Hi. And then I'm also gonna be bringing that just up to my crease. When it comes to eye makeup, I like to work in like really small areas. And I like to build up color and then kind of like worry about blending afterwards. If you do follow me, you already know all of this. But if you are new to me and you're thinking, what the hell is going on right now? Trust me, it, it, it gets better. Okay, so now I've got this big blob of color. I'm gonna dip into the shade Fiona. And I am just taking that on the same brush. I'm working in like really small circular motions. I'm just gonna start blending up the shade Introvert. And because the shade is a little bit more of a true purple, it will just kind of like amp up the overall purple purple vibe. And again, I like to work in like really small areas and just kind of do little bits at a time. I don't really know why, I just feel like it comes out a lot better that way. So once I've blended that to how I want it, again, I'm just going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to take the shade Woolly Plum, which is that really gorgeous peach colour. And then again, in a little circular motion, it's just going to blend out those two shades. And this does take a set, like eyes literally takes me the longest when it comes to my makeup. Just so I like to make sure everything is really, really diffused. Okay then, so now I have this purple smoky goodness. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just really quickly going to do that off camera just to save a little bit of time. And I'm sure if you follow me, you've seen me do it a million times before. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now my crease is all nice and sharp. I'm going to jump into my favourite shade, Chill Out. Which is, of course, just the most beautiful foil silver. Like, honey, what? Okay, so that is this side pretty much done. I'm going to get started on the other one. So for this side then, I'm going to be starting out with the shade over it. And of course that again, straight onto my outer corner. Yes. And also just starting to work that through my crease, of course. And again, I just like to really kind of like lay the colour down and then worry about blending later. But see what I mean, like how it goes from this to like an actual eye look? It all works out in the end, dude. So I'm actually just taking that brush with no product and then just blending the shade as it is. And then again on the same brush, I literally do like a whole eye with one brush. I'm going to take some of the shade Boo and I'm essentially just using that just to soften the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to deepen all of this up with the shade Tum. Just making sure that's like really, really tight on my outer corner and then up into my crease. Just so I don't want to go like too high with a darker colour. And then again quickly, I'm just going to cut my crease. Okay then, so for my main lid colour over on this side, I'm going to be taking it Bougie. And I'm just packing that all over my lid. I'm kind of going to leave my inner corner free. But just go ahead and pop that basically everywhere else. And then for the inner portion of my lid, I'm going to be taking the shade Silly. I'm just pressing that in there, making sure to mix it with Bougie. Okay, so that is both eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to finish the rest of my face, and I will be right back. All right, then, guys, so this is the very final look using my palette in collaboration with Makeup Revolution. Still can't believe I get to say that. So, like I said, this was just two color stories within the palette. If you'd like to see the other two, then definitely head over to my channel. And, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this look. I really hope you guys love the palette. All the information you need, like, where to get the palette is down in the description box, so make sure you go and check that out. Also, be sure to subscribe to Makeup Revolution's YouTube channel. Yeah, like I said, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you love the palette if you do get it. I am so, so excited to see all of your looks all over Instagram and YouTube. It's just going to be such a crazy weird experience and I am so ready for it again A huge thank you to the people who support me every single day It doesn't go unnoticed and this is all because of you guys and of course Thank you to Adam and the entire revolution team. You guys are absolutely amazing. And yeah, that is everything from me I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sure I will see you very soon